And we are back now with Steve Jones with Casa of South Central Kentucky, and he's here to talk about their need for volunteers. Thank Definitely. you for being here. Thank you for having me on. I appreciate it. Well, volunteers for CASA, first of all, what is CASA? CASA stands for Court Appointed Special Advocates. And what we do is we recruit and train community volunteers to work with abused and neglected children mm -hmm. as they move their way through the family court system. Hopefully get them reunited with mom and dad. Mm -hmm. But if that's not the case, then we help them get through to adoption. Oh, wow. Okay, so what are volunteers' responsibilities? Uh, the volunteers will meet with the children. They'll meet with the foster parents, maybe the biological parents. They'll meet with anyone involved in that child's uh, current situation, the social workers, their attorneys, uh, their therapists, their school teachers, their guidance counselors, anyone they want to talk to to learn about that child and then make recommendations to the family court judge in charge of the case to what we should do next to get that child into a permanency. So you're really just, you're really there for the child and helping out in this child's life. Exactly. We're an extra set of ears and eyes that the court has asked us to be on a case to make recommendations on that child and be their advocate to the court. Mm -hmm. And what does it take to be a volunteer? The number one thing is you have to care about kids and be willing to do the work. We, yeah. we take care of the rest in the training. A lot of people are concerned that, you know, I, I don't have a background in social services. Or I don't yeah. know the law. You know, I'm not an attorney. I'm not a social worker. That's okay. You don't need to be. So no, no prerequisites. Nope. nope. Okay. Other than caring about the kids. <laughs> okay. we'll, we'll, get, we'll show you how to maneuver your way through the court system and then working with the cabinet and all the social workers there and all the great work they do. So uh, we, we give you those pieces bits of pieces of information. Okay, and what kind of um, timed, um, how much time of your time will you use in this training? The training is the single biggest time commitment. That's 30 hours, and that's mandated by the National CASA program. We do do a no, new format now where 15 hours are in the classroom instead of all 30, and the other okay. 15 hours you do on your own in an online learning environment. Okay. But, but once you're done and actually have a case, it averages six to eight hours a month. Not a week, but six wow. to eight hours a month so is what it takes to help these kids. Not a real big time commitment. And like you said, the, the volunteer, their training for, to be a volunteer is your biggest time commitment. Exactly. Well, well over 50% of our current volunteers have full-time jobs and families. So it's, it's, it's very doable. Wow. So now you've been a volunteer for quite some time now. Are you still a volunteer? Once I started becoming a staff member, I could no longer carry a case, but I started, uh, this is my fourth year with CASA, but a year before I started with CASA, I became a volunteer first, so I had a case, and it lasted three years, oh, which wow. is unusually long. Mm -hmm. Cases don't usually last that long. They usually last 16 to 18 months. Uh, and now that I'm, that case closed out, I can't take another case because it's a conflict of interest gotcha. for staff members. Yeah. yeah, and that makes perfect sense. So what did it mean for you to be a volunteer? Gosh, it was it was one of the single most rewarding volunteer experiences I've ever had, and I don't say that just because I'm here trying to recruit other volunteers. <laughs> right, right. Uh, I've worked with other organizations and groups on and off, uh, and it was really, really meaningful. Mm -hmm. You really see the impact you have on these kids' lives and the changes you make for the better in their lives. Wow, wow, and I probably every other volunteer would say the same thing. Yes, just, I think so. Just the impact that you get to have in, in a child's life, you know? It's it's one thing to have an impact in an adult's life, but a child, they're still growing and, and you know, being molded into who they're gonna be. So, so that's probably just so comforting for them. Um, as it is. We, be, we become a constant contact in their life. Unfortunately, sometimes more so than their own biological parents because they may be in, in long-term incarceration, they may be dealing with substance abuse and mental yeah. health issues, or they may just be gone. Uh, so we are a really, really important presence in the life of that child. So it's just, the volunteers aren't gonna hop from child to child, it's just gonna be one child you work with, or if you have more than one case. You'd have one child, uh, well one case, now we don't break up a sibling group, so if the case mm -hmm. had a brother and sister, a volunteer would get both the brother and great, the sister. Great, great. And, and so they only see, like if, if, if it was you, they would only see you. They wouldn't see other CASA volunteers no, for the most no. part. They would see their social workers, their therapists, and all those folks, but only one CASA volunteer per case. Okay, so there's another constant that yeah. they can count on yeah. in their life. So, okay, how do we um, go about being a volunteer? Well, we actually, it's, it's kind of short notice, but we have what's called a CASA 101. It's tonight at 6 o'clock. Okay. Uh, you can, I'll give a phone number here in a minute. You can call us, get involved with that. You can attend it in person or via Zoom, mm -hmm. but you can always give us a call at 270 seven eight two five three five three and we can get you going on the application process 
Okay, and the applications are due when? Uh, they are due on uh, July 24th, because our next training is the five Thursdays in August in the evenings from 4 till about 7.30. Oh, okay, yeah. so that's not bad at all. No. All right, well, Steve Jones, thank you so much for being here. And again, if you'd like to be a volunteer, well, call 782-5353 or go online or email steve sure. at casa of sck.org and we'll be right back.